A more tranquil setting is this Thames Riverside scene near Hampton Court, where in this modern age, everything we need for a day on the water can be carried in the boot of your car. Just think, no need for a boathouse anymore. Just lift your boat out of the boot. You might even call it sailing on a shoestring. Our boat is, of course, the inflatable type, and an excellent example of making a little bit go a long way. The 12-foot boat itself weighing a mere 35 pounds. In fact, stowed away in three kit bags, the boat and all its accessories weigh only just over 100 weight. It's estimated you can be out of the car and under sail in less than half an hour. That's assuming you inflate the boat by conventional means, such as an electric blower attached to the car battery, although there's nothing to stop you trying to blow it up like a balloon, provided you get some practice in first and complete rest afterwards. At first glance, the red shank, as she's called, may not look terribly tough, but apart from the dangers from rival yachtsmen armed with safety pins, she's as safe as houses. In fact, the pneumatic structure enables it to withstand punishment that would damage a solid craft, such as beaching on rocks. Furthermore, it's not just one inflatable tube, it has four separate watertight compartments. The red shank is designed primarily for the family, and although she may not be sleek-lined enough for racing, she certainly makes an admirable trainer. Notice, by the way, that her rig is as efficient as simplicity will allow a beginner to handle with confidence. Yet even experienced yachtsmen would be surprised at her maneuverability and speed. However, for a really impressive performance, how about an outboard motor? An inflatable keel ensures maximum efficiency in steering. In fact, turns at full throttle can be made in almost the boat's length without any pronounced heel. Undoubtedly an impressive performance. But what we want to know is, where will it all end, this trend towards inflatable rubber? Tomorrow, we might well even be blowing up our own houses. Imagine an inflatable house. Add an outboard motor, and you've got yourself an ocean-going liner. What will they think of next?